God's logic, you're going to show me nothing. Yeah, you're going to show me nothing because I know what the Quran says. Yeah, okay. I'm the Muslim. Alhamdulillah. You're the pupil. I'm the teacher, mate. It's God. It's God. It's God. You don't know what Jesus said, where he went, what miracles he did. You have really? no reliable sources of information for this. Do, do, do you know where Jesus went? I don't need to. I'm a Muslim, mate. That's what I'm asking. Do you know where Jesus but I'm a Muslim. Is? I'm a Muslim. Why are you asking hey, me? Why would I do care? You, do, you believe, do you believe that he's your Messiah? Do I believe he's my Messiah? Yeah. No. So you don't believe that Jesus is your... So no. so who's the Messiah? Messiah was... Jesus, the Messiah sent to the Bani Israel, to the children of Israel. As he wait, stated, wait, 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 wait a second. Does, does not your Quran say that Jesus is a sign for mankind? I believe Jesus is the Messiah to the Bani Israel. Was he a sign for mankind? For the Bani Israel. Okay, so you, maybe you're unaware of this. Chapter 19, verse 21, it says that Allah says that he made Jesus a sign and a mercy for mankind. Chapter uh, 21, uh, verse oh, 19. Okay, okay. So that Jesus it, is a uh, sign well, for well, mankind. Mankind wins. Mankind wins. Is he just for Israel or is he also for oh, mankind? Oh, okay. Jesus was sent to the children of Israel. Okay. When he returns at the end of days, it will be for all mankind. Okay. So when Jesus, so if, if, when it says that Jesus is a sign for mankind, is that only for Israel or is that for everyone? Okay. When Jesus first came, he was just for the children of Israel. When he returns, He'll come to slay the Dajjal and for the and for all where, of mankind. Where does your Quran say that when Jesus first came, he was only for Israel? Where does your Quran say that? We see we said Isa son of uh, Maryam is to the Bani Israel. Yeah, but where does it say only to Israel? We sent him to the Bani Israel. Being sent to Israel doesn't exclude everyone else, right? Well, if you're being sent to Bani Israel to the people of Israel, children of Israel, yes, it does. Does that mean that you're only for Israel? Well, if you're sent to the children of Israel, you're not sent to the children of the Gentiles, are you? But that doesn't mean just because you're sent to, like, for example, was Muhammad sent to China? No, Muhammad sent for the whole of mankind. He was sent to the whole of mankind, but did he yeah. leave Arabia? He didn't need to. He sent delegation to Rome, to Persia, to Byzantium and called them all to Islam. Got you. So he himself didn't have to go outside of Arabia for his message to be no. for everyone else, right? No, 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 no. No, there's a difference. Allah says in the Quran, we sent you Muhammad as a mercy to mankind. Ah. We sent, oh, this, this is different. And Muhammad, peace and peace, acted upon that by sending a delegation to Persia, to Egypt and to Rome, calling them all to worship Allah. So therefore... This is uh, a, an indication and a demonstration of his mission, that he wasn't just there for the Arabs. He mm -hmm. called the Persians. He called the Egyptians. Now, Jesus, yeah, didn't do that. Jesus was sent to the children of Israel. Okay. So even, even according to what you have left, well, even according mm -hmm. to what you have left, mm -hmm. the remnants, the echoes of the life of Jesus, mm -hmm. yeah, he clearly states who he came for. He clearly demonstrates who he came for. Got you. So, all right. All right. So let's talk about this. What you just said. You said that Muhammad was for all mankind because, and here was your evidence, is that the Quran says he's a mercy for mankind. And then you said that Muhammad demonstrated what Allah has said in the Quran by sending delegations to these other nations. That's what you said. So you have the claim from Allah that proves that Muhammad is not just for Arabia, but for all mankind. And then you have the demonstration. Okay. In the Quran, it says that Jesus is a mercy for mankind, a sign and a mercy for mankind. So he wasn't just for Israel by that standard. No, no. He was no, no. also for the rest of the world. This correct? is what you're missing. This is no, this is what you're mistaking. Okay. When the when the Quran talks about Muhammad, yeah, Muhammad is the final messenger. There's no more messengers coming. The new Sharia is with Muhammad. The previous prophets now have been surpassed, just as Jesus surpassed Moses and Muhammad surpassed Jesus. Okay. So when Allah speaks about Muhammad, he's the final messenger. This is the message to mankind. When it's talking about Jesus, it's, it's past tense. It's what's happened in history kind of thing. So we know as Muslims, or we believe as Muslims, that Jesus, when he was sent, had a mission to go to the children of Israel, to call them back to worship it and uh, worship the God of uh, worship Allah. And then afterwards, when they rejected him and such, then when he returns at the end of days to slay the Antichrist, yeah, then he will be for everybody, obviously. He's not just going to come back for the Muslims. He's going to come back for everybody. Okay. So, okay. so that, that's, that's that. Okay. So again, so you said that Muhammad is for mankind because the Quran says he's a mercy for mankind and then demonstrated it 
by sending delegates of, of, uh, of his message and the message of Islam to these different nations and different people. So what you have here is you have where Jesus, according to your Quran, is sent to Israel, but is also said to be a sign and a mercy for mankind. So the same way that you believe that Muhammad is for mankind, the Quran says the same thing about Jesus, which is why you should know where Jesus preached as the Messiah, what he did, what was in his message. No, no, we don't. No, why no, no. You should know we, we, we don't need to know these things. What do you he mean? Was a messenger. Uh, 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 is he not your Messiah? Uh, uh, okay. No, he's not my Messiah. No. Okay. <laughs> he's not your Messiah. That's no. tough. No, he's not where, my Messiah. Where do, you, where do you get this idea that he's not your Messiah? Because he was sent to the children of Israel as their Messiah. Wait, okay. Who was, Does, wait, who was at, promised the Messiah? Who was wait, promised the Messiah? At, at, at any point, who, who, who was Jesus, promised the Messiah? Did Jesus stop being Messiah? One, one second. Who, who no, was no, promised the Messiah? Is, no, Hamza, this no, is no. the question. Does Jesus who, stop being who, the Messiah at some point? Who, who was promised the Messiah? J Jesus is. No, who is, was promised? Who was promised they would be sent the Messiah? Everyone. Where does Not it just say Israel, that? Everyone. The Gentiles too. Where does it say that? In Isaiah forty-nine. What does it say? In Isaiah forty-nine six, it says, talking about the Messiah, it's too small a thing that I should uh, make you my servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob and to bring back the preserved of Israel. But I will also make you a light to the Gentiles that my salvation may reach the ends of the earth. So both Gentiles and the Israelites are promised the Messiah. So, so you're saying to me, when the Jews read their Old Testament, they, they recognize a Messiah that's going to be sent to the Gentiles? Yes. He's no, not don't. just for Israel. He's also No, they don't. The no, they don't. They don't, oh, they don't interpret okay. it the way you interpret it. Well, well, well guess what? When, 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 the, when the Hebrews, when, when some of the Jews read their text and they, and they see that Jesus is not the Messiah, does that make it? Is there, are they an authority? No, no, no. The, the point is this. The point is this. You're just interpreting a verse to suit your narrative because your understanding of a Messiah has been warped so by the Trinitarian wait, concept of a Messiah. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Who's, the, who's the Jews? The, judge? the Jews. Did, do you believe in the time of Jesus, right? Who's the standard Jesus is my question. One second. How did the Jews understand this term no, no, Messiah? No, no, in the, no, no, one second. One second. No, no, what, it, what matters, it matters. It matters. It matters. So is, in the, in no, the time of Jesus. What is the standard? In the time of Jesus, when he was preaching. No, that's not the question. No, no, no. But we're establishing the position of the word Messiah, isn't it? So no, no, we're not. Yeah, we're, we're, we are. Because no, when you say you, Messiah, no, you, when no, you say well, Messiah no, no, and no, I no, say no. Messiah, we're talking about two different things. No. So when you we when are you, when you said when you said who was promised the Messiah, <sighs> and you and I told you who, and I gave you the verse, you 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 then said, wait, do the Jews oh, think this when they read this? God. Why are you why are you appealing to them? I'll explain to you. Okay, the term Messiah in the time of Jesus is not what you think Messiah is. It was a completely different understanding. Yeah, the Jews were not waiting for some um, somebody to come for the whole world. They were waiting for their Messiah, their Jewish Messiah, the reestablishment of Jewish monarchy. This is what they're waiting for. This is why the Pharisees didn't have a problem with Jesus claiming to be the Messiah, because they were waiting for the Messiah. There's no issues with being a Messiah. Yeah. It just means the reestablishment of Jewish monarchy, which was abolished by the Romans. Yeah. But when you Christians get hold of the word Messiah and you change it into this kind of savior for the whole world through the death and resurrection and such, this is the, your lens you're coming through. So when, okay. you see the term, so when you see the term Messiah, it's not your Messiah. OK, so touch on this then. I gave you the verse where it talks about the Messiah being for both Israelites and Gentiles. So break that down for me when it says. Which, which verse Messiah, is it? OK, one second, it's, one second. it's Isaiah chapter 49. Yeah. Okay, Verse six. One second. One second. One second. Isaiah forty-nine. Verse six. Verse six, and this is uh, okay. Uh, uh, I can't believe you said Jesus is not your Messiah. That's wild. Yeah, he's not. It's tough, man. Uh, yeah, bear me a second. No, you can't. You can't defend Christianity. We're doing it right now. This is not Christianity you're defending, mate. Yeah, you, 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 you're already, you've already conceded that your authors of your gospels are anonymous, and yet you no, believe what they say. Yes, you did. I never conceded that yeah, at all. Yes, you, yes, you did. You said, so what? So were yours. Yes, you did. You said, what no, about it? I never conceded it. I literally yes, said, I don't Oh, oh okay. Are the, are, are the authors of the Gospels anonymous? Yeah, I, I told them I'm showing them the inconsistency. No, but are, they, are the authors of the Gospels anonymous? No. Or not? They're no. not. Who wrote the book of Mark? Yeah, we'll get into that in a second. But yeah, Mark, no, who wrote, just, just who, answer who, Mark. Mark and who, who, who's Mark? Who's Mark? 
Mark did. So who's Mark? So we'll, 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 we'll let you. We're not. No, who, who's who's this right to Mark? Who is? It? I want you to focus. Focus on forty nine. I, I am. I am. I am. One second. One second. Okay. Uh, that that might work uh, on other Christians. It doesn't work here. What are you about? The, the the little deflections and stuff. There is no deflections. Basically, okay. you you you've just said you don't believe the authors are anonymous. Correct. Yeah. Right. But with the other Muslim guy, you said I. So what? So were yours. Yeah. So that's is that a, that's not a concession, right? No, well, Wait. And, is, and by the way, well, I saying 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 so what? I didn't say so what. So what? I didn't say so what. So are yours. yours. I didn't you, say so what. So are yours. You didn't have said, to say me, exactly said, those let words. Let me go with you. I said, let me go with you. All right. Let me go with you on that. One second. One second. And I just showed him how inconsistent his position is. It doesn't really matter because if your position um, can't be justified, whether someone else's can or not, doesn't strengthen your own position. Yeah. I'm here to demonstrate to you, you've got no legs to stand on me. All right. Well, let's, let's see. Come on, man. It don't take that long to find the verse. Oh, it, it does. It's not about finding the verse. I, look, I'm not, I'm not a Jew. I don't know whether they understand this verse. I'm going to read where they understand it. It's their book. Wait, uh, wait, so you're not reading the verse? I'm going to look at the verse and look how it's been understood. You, look, you've read the verse and understood it how you've chosen to understand it, yeah? I've, I've chosen to understand it how it reads. That's, I'll read that's it again. Good. Read it again. Okay. So, here it is. You're looking at it or are you looking at interpretation? What are you looking at? I'm looking at it. I'm looking at the how so the Jews. You have and, it. Can you read it? Oh, okay. Listen to me. There's no point me just reading it. Yeah. Yes, it is. I, I want you to just read. No, the it's text. not. No, 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 no. I could read the text as you read the text, and then you can tell so me. You're killing me, man. I, I, I don't know why you're, you're laughing for. All right. So this is. I'm a Muslim. Yeah. Is this book my book? No. Is this book the book yeah, of the Jews? Yes, it is your book, actually. How is this my book? You're a Muslim. You can't. You have to believe in the books. Don't Which you? books? Which books? All, all of them. All that was been revealed by before the Quran. This wasn't revealed. Oh Lord. Okay, it wasn't revealed. No way. Do you think the Do you think so, the Old so Testament? Isaiah, and the, Isaiah forty nine six. Wait, can you just you read? Can, you just, I'm not going to allow you just to say things. Look. Can just you just honest. read the? No, no, no. I, I think there's been a miscommunication. You know, I don't believe the Old Testament and the New Testament are revelation, don't you? Uh, no worries. No, but you know that, don't you? I, I understand that. Right. I'm so sorry. when you say to me, when I say, when I say to you, this, one second. Mm. No, I'm not. Okay. Where, where does my Quran say I have to believe in the Old Testament? All over the place. We'll get there. I promise. No, no, it doesn't. It doesn't. Okay. It says, I'll show, but I'll, I'll show you all of that. Just oh, 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 okay. God logic. You're going to show me nothing. Yeah. You're going to show me nothing because I know what the Quran says. Yeah, okay. I'm the Muslim. Alhamdulillah. You yes. think you know what Sam says. So says. You think you know what the Quran says. I'm the Sheikh. You don't. And I'm going to show you what your Quran says. I'm you're, the the, sheikh. you're the pupil. I'm the teacher, mate. Okay, we'll see. Can you read the verse? Yeah, I'm, I'm reading it now. Okay. So this is. And it's a, so this is. One second. Come on, man. It doesn't take oh, long. Okay, so 14.9. Listen, while unto me and hearken, ye people for far. The Lord hath called me from the womb. So you think this is Jesus being spoken about, yeah? Of course, it's the Messiah. The bowels of my mother hath he made mention of my name, and he hath made me my mouth like a sharp sword. In the shadow of his hand hath he hid me, and made me a polished shaft. In his quiver hath he hid me, and said unto me, Thou art my servant, O Israel. Whoa. That's Jacob. No, it's not. Who, who is Israel? That's the Messiah. Thou art my servant, O Israel. Mm -hmm. Keep reading. No, he... But, I'm, re I'm reading it. Thou art my yeah. servant, O Israel. So yeah. it's talking about Jacob. One second. No, and who it's am I? About the Messiah. You're, you're about to see. Well, who, is, who is Israel? Who is Israel? I'm, I'm about to show you. You have Israel. You have the individual Israel, who's the Messiah, right. who represents Israel. Then you have Israel, the nation, who that okay. individual says. Oh, oh, okay. So let me just read this again. This is yeah. Isaiah speaking, yeah. And mm -hmm. he hath made so. So this is what. Uh, this is Isaiah speaking prophetically with the Messiah. Right, 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 right. So this is this is um, him speaking, yeah. Listen, O isles, unto me, and hearken, ye people. The Lord hath called me from the womb. Okay. So you think this is Jesus speaking, yeah? Yes. Okay. So this is. let's imagine this is Jesus speaking. From the bowels of my mother hath he mentioned me, and he hath made me my mouth like a sharp sword. In the shadow of his hand hath he hid me, and made me a polished shaft. In his quiver hath he hid me, and said unto me, 
thou art my servant. So now this means God has said to Jesus, thou art my servant, O Israel. Correct. Well, Jesus is not Israel. Jesus is Israel. No, the Jesus Messiah, is not Israel. Messiah Jacob is Israel. Jacob is Israel. Okay, keep reading. We're gonna, I'm about to show All right. you. Just All right. Reading. So in context, it's talking about Jacob, not Israel. It's not. It's talking uh, about the Messiah who's identified as Israel. Well, well it, can't, it can't be where God is saying to this per individual, thou art my servant, O Israel. Okay, just if I promise you, Hamza, it all gets cleared up if you just keep reading. I okay, then I have labored in vain. I have spent my strength for naught and in vain. Yet surely my judgment is with the Lord and my work with God. So God is going to judge this person. Yeah, no, he's okay. not going to judge this person. He approves them. And my Lord judgment is with the Lord. Meaning, what does that even it, that means? Means, the, means his approval. Means, it means I'll be judged by God. No, okay. it's, no it's not. It is. I'll. Uh, yet surely my his judgment works, is with works, the Lord and my good. work and my work with my God. Does Jesus have a God? Just, just keep going. Yeah, no, the no, Father no. Is not, according to his flesh. Yeah. So, so so the Father is the God of Jesus. Correct, according to so the So you flesh. believe God has a God? According to the flesh, of course. What does that Jeremiah mean? Jeremiah 32, verse 27, God is the God of all flesh. Jesus, who is God, also took on flesh. Uh, without the flesh? Himself. Without Therefore, the flesh? The Father became his God. Oh, uh, uh, And without the flesh? Is without he still flesh, God? He's not he's not the God of Jesus over his divine nature. They have the same. So God. without the flesh, what is he? They are. So there's two natures. And so you have the father and the son who share the same divine essence. Therefore, God, the father can't be God over his divine nature. What, what do you mean? Two God. natures. Who's got two natures? The son does. But you're you're deflecting again. No, 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 no. Look. We, are we here being honest here? Are we here trying to understand we're, things here? We're, we, we're, right, 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 right. right. Honest, so what you can't do, what you can't do is just say things to support deflecting. your argument. No, no, not at all. I'm not. I'm, oh, okay. I'm, I'm not saying it. you're asking questions that are on. No, no, no. What I'm, no, no. The incarnation. No, no, no. What I'm saying is your whole position is based on your assumptions, which don't hold up to scrutiny. What? I don't have any assumptions here at all. Yes, you if do. You, I'm telling you, you. I'm telling you now. I've I just read. You just read. You got it, man. I've, I've just read three chapters so far, and this can't be referring you to Jesus. Verses? You read three verses? I have three chapters. Yeah. I started at 49.1, uh, 49, and I'm at 49.3. 49.4 now. I've, I've read four <laughs> chapters. And so four, far. Four verses. Four verses. Yeah, four chapters. Oh, sorry, you yeah, know. four paragraphs. Four paragraphs. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So what I'm saying so far, this is not about Jesus. Anyway, let me continue. Well, keep going. <laughs> and now said the Lord that formed me from the womb to be his servant, to bring Jacob again to him. To bring who? Jacob. Wait, I thought I thought that was Jacob. One second. Hmm. I thought that was Jacob. But look, look, can I can I make something very, very plain to you? Sure. This this old testament yeah it makes many many mistakes errors it <laughs> well, well it does it does okay, oh, okay well no no i don't know why you're laughing it, it, it does it doesn't get chronology right sometimes it gets the stories back to front so it it, it messes it up the... this doesn't help okay you. i i'll tell you why it does because it's contradicting itself already really so it doesn't surprise me yes okay. of course it has okay so 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 one second, one second. One. So the person who's what's Israel it, is supposed to bring back Jacob, so he's not Jacob himself, right? Oh, okay. You're the pupil. I'm the teacher, mate. You're the pupil. I'm the teacher, mate. Oh my God! Logic.